Peace, everyone. Black High Priestess. Oh, um, I just wanted to do a quick uh, video. I'm being called to talk about the, the transgenderism agenda. There's a lot of um, sex doll um, trending right now in social media. And so I wanted to address um, the root of all of this this trending and this, you know, it's it's a lot of it is sexism. A lot of it is really about replacing the, the value of the woman. And a lot of it is racism about replacing the value of the original African woman or the, the, the original black Aboriginal woman. So it, when you're dealing with the recessive genetic, you're dealing with the genetic that's easier to control. So in the, in the racial aspect, you know, we all know the, you know, the oppression of the black woman in social media as the standard of beauty. All of that is more than just, you know, prejudice and white supremacy. White supremacy has a lot to do with not elevating the, the woman of another race because the, the standard, the, 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 the condition of the woman represents the, the, the situation of the whole race and the superiority of the race. So when you oppress the black woman, you, you ensure the, the, the superiority of your race and the inferiority of another race through the conditions of the woman, which is the measuring point of how superior and supreme a race is. Which is why when in Africa, when the woman was, was the queen and was ruling and was, you know, um, at, at a very equal um, and, and elevated position um, among, amongst the kingdom and, and next to the man, that's when African people were um, ruling the world. So, uh, and again, now the Caucasian rules the world. Um, but not, and, and to say that, that is not to exclude the, the assistance of other races in helping the Caucasian rule the world. Um, whereas that was not the case with the African. The African ruled the world by their own merit. So the, you know, the erasing of black femininity, um, the whitewashing of black femininity is, was the prerequisite to the transgenderism agenda, which is taking away the original femininity, making it recessive. So now you accept any form of inferior femininity or any deviant um, form of, of sacred femininity. And objectifying the, the recessive woman is, is easier, so to speak, in, in um, ma mass manipulation because you know the recessive genetic is easier to manipulate and to mind control. That's why the whitewashing and the brainwashing and getting people to go blind and all of that, there is another aspect of that that I'm gonna get into right now. But it is a lot about making society easier to control through having it come through a recessive genetic portal, which namely would translate to white women being the new mothers making sure that, you know, t taking away the natural fertility of the black woman and injecting it into the white woman, which is where you get the, the birth pills, you know, um, pills to make white women have triplets and quadruplets, knowing that actually the Caucasian has stopped procreating at, at a rate and ha is dying quicker, whereas the African is still procreating at a high rate. So the Caucasian has had to create agendas to promote interracial dating, um, namely between black men and white women, because the other way might inadvertently assist the black race, um, meaning the black woman and the white man, that formula will assist the black race. That's why there's a lot more promotion of the white woman and the black man, because the, that's elevating the, the woman. Um, you know, and in a sense, it's taking the, the you know, it's it's um, allowing the, the portal to be a recessive portal 
um, because the mother is the first nurturer of the children. So if, she, if the children are being gestated and nurtured through a recessive genetic inclination as opposed to a dominant one, you know, that's the, that's the agenda. So having said that, what that has to do with the transgenderism, the fallen angels that chose to make a pact with one another. That's the first brotherhood. That was the first secret society. The fallen angels who chose to go against the most high and, and pact to mate with the human women. That was the first brotherhood. And that secret society, that pact remains to this day. And through for them to maintain their rule as fallen angels on earth, where humans are supposed to be flourishing by God's nature and creation, which is through the black woman and man procreating. Through the original man and woman procreating, not, not just saying that only you know, black people are allowed to be on earth, but what I'm saying is um, the intent, the original man and woman made in the image of God were, is the African black. And um, that was the original intention and all races, you know, that, that, that have, that have um, came about from that union are of God's creation and design. When the fallen angels came and mated with the human woman, the black woman, and, you know, created um, and begot the, the Neanderthal genetic, um, that is where you get um, the, re the, re the recessive genetic, the, the receding from um, the, the, the original design made in, made in God's image, in the image of God and Goddess. So as the offspring of the fallen angels and the human women started to take over earth it's important to understand that that is how you get hell you got hell on earth so to speak and i don't want to get into to too much but again this is very important to understand because the angels the angels in heaven had no gender that is why they are always um depicted as either masculine or depicted with and this is very important i'm, I'm gonna get into some mysteries but i want to i don't want to get into too many mysteries right now but if you want to detect an angel they wear white robes they have a gold or silver halo they have white wings they do not have horns they do not have a tail. Other entities like a, a grim reaper or even a, a, a daemon or, um, you know, a, um, you know, um, a, 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 you know, a spirit guardian, a, a, an ancestral entity, but demons, so to speak, uh, um, helpful demons. All demons aren't bad and all angels are not good. A, a lot of angels are pure evil. But again, a demon, so to speak, or another entity may have a robe, but it may be gray, it may be red, it may be brown, but they may have a robe, they may be robed like an angel. This deals with the choir, so I'm going to talk a little bit about angels, but again, that's how you detect an angel. A demon is going to have horns, they may have some type of tail, they, they may have a clawed, um, 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 Peds, I want to say peds. What, I'm, what you know? They, they, their, their, their peds, their fingers and toes may, may be clawed in some way. Um, uh, but um, a, a demon could have a halo, but they are gonna have horns. A demon will have spiritually, you will be able to detect their horns. Whereas an angel is only gonna have a halo, and it'll be gold or silver. Typically, it won't, you know. Um, they may have a crown of light as well. Um, that, that might be more one you want to go with. An angel that has a crown of light um, as opposed to a halo. So 
you know, it, it, in that sense, here's the thing about the angels and the fallen angels. Like I said, demons have genders. Demons naturally are able to embrace and indulge sexuality. Whereas angels, I don't want to say they're enslaved to God, but angels have an allegiance to, to the most high. And angels were not created or designed to procreate. Humans were. Angels were not. They, they have no gender. So the, the, the rule of the angels, and I'm not, and this is where it gets tricky because again, the fallen angels lusted after the black woman and came down to mate with humanity and still embraced humanity. And you are talking about Lucifer being the primary fallen angel but not necessarily the only one within that pack. Lucifer had another agenda far beyond mating with a human woman. Lucifer was challenging God for being unjust. That is the war in heaven that as above, so below. And we are experiencing that war that is happening in heaven. And humanity is a representation of the war that is happening in heaven. over over rule so again you know you you hail lucifer or you you honor the most high that's your business i'm just letting you know about this agenda because it deals with the angels and the fact that they have no gender so the angels ruling the the rule that goes against the design that God had, that the Most High had, you know, deals with um, artificial intelligence, transgenderism, putting everyone on one collective consciousness. Again, the angels do deal with um, the, 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 the Luciferian uh, agenda, so to speak, deals with the fact that Lucifer was blind. And, and a lot of angels deal with being blind, but that also relates to monks and why monks wear robes. And why Super Saiyans in Dragon Ball Z are depicted as going blonde like albinos. That, that, that is a mystery. That does have to do with the uh, 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 African trait of being a dragon and being related to that, that dragon energy. But the, the, the agenda, the racial, the racist, sexist agenda is the whitewashing, turning everyone blonde to represent that you know, that Luciferian agenda, because why is it so prevalent in Hollywood? Lucifer ruled entertainment in heaven. So they're worshiping an aspect of Lucifer as the fallen angel who, who um, ele so to speak, elevates sin, but that's not really, you know, but if, there, if, 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 if Hollywood, you know, Hollywood being the, 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 the sacred wand that the Druids use to do magic. If Hollywood represents the entertainment capital in, in, in the world or in, or in America and Babylon, like Lucifer represented entertainment in heaven, that's why artists, celebrities, you know, including sports and things like that, deal with the blonde energy that is a way of that is a way of expressing the MK Ultra mind control um, of brainwashing people into this New World Order agenda, which deals with the eliminating the black woman, which is God's original design for humanity to come through the black woman, not to be created in a test tube as clones who now sleep with robots and are, are everyone's on artificial intelligence. So again, these nanobites that are creating artificial intelligence and, and fusing with the DNA of the human and turning um, us into, turning people into robots, clones, you know, doing that, the, the technology and the cell phones and everything, all of that deals with the transgenderism agenda of eliminating sex, eliminating sexuality. Because the angels, the ruling class, um, 
have no sexuality because they have no sex organs. You are also talking about vampires again in the ruling class and, and, and vampires dealing with, you know, sucking energy from humanity. Vampires also do not have sex the way humans have sex. Think about that as well and the transgenderism and, 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 and being at war with humanity and what this has to do with the war in heaven and what side you are either on or what you know about what you think you know. Because th th that is how all of this correlates. And, and, and this sex doll stuff, no one's thinking about it. But the reason it's trending is because the powers that be are putting this stuff out there to further confuse the black man and the black woman on how they relate to each other. When I say the black man and the black woman, I'm not excluding other races. I'm getting back to the source of what the most high intended. If you're another race, you, you, should, you, you should be honoring and revering um, the original man and, and woman. And I'm not, I'm not saying that you shouldn't have, um, uh, shouldn't be worshiping or honoring an ancestor in your own image. What I'm saying is uh, when you get to the being in the image of the creators, the black genetic is dominant because it is the first image of the creators. And through that, all came through the black womb and the black sea, which represents the ankh. The womb being balanced on the phallus, that balance, okay? So the, 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 the cross of Christian Catholicism deals with the elimination of the womb and the insertion of two phalluses, homoeroticism. That's what happens with, with black men. They are forced to engage in homoeroticism to once they have made the same oath to take over humanity through the transgenderism you know, or the, you know, you could say Illuminati, which deals with the blonde whitewashing. Illuminati in terms of a, in terms of the New World Order, not the original Illuminati, not the original secret societies that have mysteries of the occult and knew how to apply them to building and, and creating alchemy and constructing your God and God itself. I'm talking about the corrupt, you know, um, conspiracy theory um, you know, uh, New World Order secret societies that, that are trending right now and, and talking about the Illuminati being the whitewashing agenda. But, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I lost myself now, but deal, dealing with the, um, you know, homoeroticism that is imposed on a lot of the black male celebrities who do get into that realm, who have had to make contracts where they no longer can date black women. You no longer can marry black women. You can no longer do sex scenes or have a romantic um, um, co-actress who is black. You can't do sex scenes. You cannot depict black love in, in Hollywood. You know, and, and, and to replace that, but you have to do homoeroticism, you know, as, as, a, as, a, as a black man. You know, and, and if you're a black woman in Hollywood, you, you're lucky if you could, you know what I'm saying, you're either going to have to play a, a, a certain a, a undesirable role or you will have to whitewash your, your image severely. And of, of, of course, you know, not have positive romance with a black man on screen or off screen all right so um you you know again that that is dealing with separating the original man and woman and taking away um the power from humanity and giving it over to a false a false deity a supercomputer which is the 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 evil um, it, you know, uh, I hope that this intro makes sense. I will be talking about it more. I was just told to kind of talk about it and I didn't go live about it cause I, I do want to, um, 
I just wanted to to to, to just kind of review. It's 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 one cut, but um, I didn't want to go live about it. I didn't want to be interrupted and and everything. I just really feel like this message needed to get out at this time this morning. I woke up inspired to speak on it. Um, I will be talking about it more in depth with more details. I just wanted to remind everyone that there is a war on the there is still a war on the black woman and that and that is why i've always been passionate as black high priestess but all my life i knew seeing the way the world is all my life i knew i was a reincarnation of the goddess but through voodoo i found out my name and my history and i started to remember okay but i always knew that i came back to reestablish balance of representation of black femininity and this is why it is so important to understand what is really going on with the black race and to get out of the mindset of slavery and to understand that we are way past that now and there is a, a there are other agendas that yes slavery was a time in history but all of history has slowly been progressing to this and whether you believe in the bible or not yes in fact through the council of nicaea 325 ce um I think BC, BC, um, could have been AD. Um, that's when the Council of Nicaea convened and decided what scriptures would be in the Bible. And that version was the one that was used to enslave indigenous humanity. However, that does not take away from the, the truth of the Dead Sea Scrolls and other spiritual texts and, and tablets and things that, that, that have been written, um, things you know from Lemuria, from Atlantis, sacred, sacred um, tablets and artifacts that allude to the prophecies of, these, of the biblical text not necessarily the version that was used to enslave humanity, but the actual text um, that, that prophesied and, and, and were a um, uh, journalism of the history of the planet. Okay, and, and, and different things that happened in the planet even before humanity, all right? So we will get into this a little bit more, everyone. I hope that um, you think about some things. Let me know if you have any questions or want me to elaborate on anything specific in the comments. Um, listen, learn, like, subscribe, and I will see you soon. Peace and love.